The value of smectite clays as thickeners and stabilizers in water-based compositions is a result of the clay mineral lattice. This accounts for the particular way in which these clays hydrate in water and form the desired colloidal structure. A single smectite platelet is composed of a central alumina or magnesia layer joined to silica layers above and below. The platelet is one nanometer thick and up to several hundred nanometers across. Substitutions within the crystal lattice result in negatively charged platelet faces. Lattice discontinuities account for a very slight positive charge on edges. The net platelet charge is negative. The net negative charge on the platelet is balanced by sodium ions. These charge balancing ions are associated with platelet faces and are called exchangeable since they can be readily substituted with other cations. A single clay granule is composed of thousands of these sandwich platelets with exchangeable cations and a layer of water between each. When clay is dispersed in water, the water penetrates between platelets forcing them further apart. The sodium ions begin to diffuse away from platelet faces. Diffusion, the movement of cations from between platelets out into the water, and osmosis, the movement of water into the space between platelets, then promote delamination until platelets are completely separated. Once the smectite is hydrated, that is, the platelets are separated, the weakly positive platelet edges are attracted to the negatively charged platelet faces. A three-dimensional colloidal structure forms, commonly called the house of cards. The formation of this structure accounts for the characteristic rheology imparted by these clays. This structure is valued for its ability to trap and segregate particulates, as in a suspension, oils, as in an emulsion, and gases, as in a foam or mousse. Three characteristics of a smectite clay dispersion in water define its rheology. Dispersions are thixotropic. Dispersions are pseudoplastic. Dispersions have yield value. After the clay is hydrated, the three-dimensional house of cards colloidal structure builds rapidly at first, giving a quick increase in viscosity. As time passes, the remaining free platelets take a longer time to find an available site in the structure, so viscosity increases at a progressively slower rate. Conversely, when a fixed shear is applied, most of the structure is disrupted quickly, with subsequent breakdown becoming more gradual. Smectite dispersions are also pseudoplastic, because increasing the rate of applied shear, thereby increasing structure breakdown, results in decreasing viscosities. The colloidal structure also provides this clay's most useful property, yield value. This is a measure of the resistance of the structure to breakdown. A certain minimum force, the yield value, must be applied to start disrupting the structure. Solids, oils, or gases that are trapped and segregated by the structure must exert a force greater than the yield value to be able to move through the liquid. This means that the greater the yield value, the more stable the suspension, emulsion, or foam. Most water-soluble components will modify the rheological properties of smectite clay. Salts, surfactants, and water-miscible solvents will increase the smectite's viscosity and yield value contribution and decrease thixotropy. Double layer theory can explain the effect of electrolytes and other water solubles on clay rheology. Most of the clay's exchangeable ions tend to accumulate by electrostatic attraction near the negative faces of the platelets. They simultaneously have a tendency to diffuse towards the bulk of the water where their concentration is low. A diffuse atmosphere of counter ions forms with concentration diminishing with distance from the platelet face. A negative double layer is thus established, consisting of the negative surface charge plus the diffuse counter ions. The analogous positive double layer is established in association with platelet edges. The House of Cards colloidal structure is actually based on the interaction of smectite platelet edge and face double layers. 
platelet edges and faces do not actually touch. When electrolyte or other water soluble is added to the dispersion, the double layers are compressed. This allows the platelet edges and faces to approach more closely, resulting in a more rigid structure and consequently higher viscosity and yield value. If the double layers become too compressed, face-to-face -face van der Waals attraction will predominate and the House of Cards colloidal structure will be lost. This may appear as a semi-stable thick gel or as flocculated masses with synoresis.